this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom and today I'll be showing you a bracelet that we would like you to name. This is an intermediate level bracelet. Please refer to the video description for full contest details. Once a name for this bracelet has been chosen, the name will appear as the title for this video. To make this bracelet you will need 48 black rubber bands, two each of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and a C-clip. Now let's get started. Place your loom with the red arrow pointing away from you. The first step in making this bracelet is placing the black bands around the perimeter of the loom. We'll start from the center point, move to this outside point, go up this side of the loom until we reach the second pin from the end and from here we'll place the band to the center pin. Then we go back to the beginning, place a band outside, move up the side of the loom, stop at the second pin from the end and move this band into the middle. I'll start by showing you how to place these bands and then we'll fast forward to show you the end result. Now we're at the end here and again we'll stop from the second pin from the end and move this band into the center. Now we'll be placing bands across the loom. Again these will be black bands. We'll skip this first row of bands. We'll start from the second pin on the side of the loom and we'll stretch that across to the second pin on this side. We'll move up a pin to the third pin, stretch it across, and we'll fast forward from here to show you the end result. And we do not place a band on this last row. Now push all your bands down on the pins because we have a couple more layers to do for this bracelet. Once those are down, we'll place a center row of bands going up the loom, and this is where we'll be using the rainbow colored bands. We'll start with red, start from the middle point of the loom, stretch that out. Then orange. yellow, green, blue, purple, and we'll continue that to the end of the loom. Once we've completed laying this center row of rubber bands, we'll turn the loom around. Once you've turned the loom around, you'll need to place a cat band on this center pin. You'll grab a rubber band, twist it into a figure eight, and turn it back upon itself to make the cat band. You'll place that on the center pin right here. Now we're going to loop this center row of bands. With your hook pointing away from you, Use this flat side of the hook to pull your cap band away. You'll grab the purple rubber band, hold that cap band down with your thumb, and loop the purple band over this first pin there. Then we'll continue looping the center row of colorful bands, and we'll fast forward from here. Once you've finished looping the center row of bands, 
you'll place black bands over each of the previous black bands that you've laid across the loom. So starting from the center pin or the second pin, you'll place a band just over the one you had placed before. Do this again here. And we'll continue laying these bands until we reach the end of the loom. Now this is the last black band that we place across the loom. We do not use these last three pins on the loom. Once all the bands have been placed, you're ready to loop the exterior sides for this bracelet. Again, you'll use the back side of the hook You'll pull back this black cap band, grab this rubber band and pull it out to the left side of your loom. Use the back of your hook, slide it up the middle channel and pull this one out over to the right. We'll loop up this side of the loom first. You'll use the back of your hook to pull these bands back, slide your hook up through the channel Lift it over that edge and all the way around. Tilt your hook forward and it should release. Now you do have multiple black bands on this. If it helps, you can separate the bands on the side of your pin so that you know which band you're grabbing. Pull all these back with the back of your hook. Grab that bottom black band. Pull it up through the channel. Over. You can see you've grabbed the right band and around. Pull all those back, get that bottom band, and loop. Pull all the bands back, grab the bottom black band, and pull. From here we'll fast forward. Once we've reached the end, we'll go to the beginning of this side and loop our bands up the right side of the loom. And then we pull this last one into the center and we'll turn our loom around. You want to make sure you squeeze all these bands up to the top of that pin. You'll slide your hook down in the channel and tilt it outward. You'll grab a black band, lay it over the point of your hook, pull it back, and then get your band on the hook and pull it up to the thickest part. Now you're ready to pull your rubber band bracelet off the loom. You just kind of grab it with your fingers, pull and lift. And we're going to extend this bracelet. Grab your loom again and we'll place six bands on this to make this bracelet a standard 8 inch size bracelet. If your wrist is a little smaller, you may not want to use six bands. You can use two, three, or four. You'll, you'll learn what size you should be using for your wrist. And here we place six bands. Find that cat band again. Stretch it over the end. With your hook, you'll Loop the single chain. Okay. Grab this last band, you'll pull it to the middle. That makes it nice and taut there so you can put your C clip over that. You'll grab your C clip with the open channel there. You'll slide that over your rubber band bracelet. And then you can pull that off. Now that we've removed it from the loom, you'll pull it down from your hook, put two fingers in there, 
pull those apart. You'll get your C-clip and you'll just snap that over the bands. And there you have your finished bracelet. Thank you.